Uh oh. Okay, let's just go. What is up, YouTube? It's your girl K featuring. I got to say my own name. That's I what thought you were featuring oh, Brie. Okay. My name is Brie. That's all you get. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to know my government name. The fuck. Yeah. Anyway, today. Oh wait. Before I get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Drop a comment. And like. Yeah, like it too. And comment too, because I like to hear what the fuck y'all gotta say. Wait, I can't say bad words. No, you too. Bleep that shit out. Yeah. Okay. What if I got a, like a curse? Have you seen people curse on there? Whatever. We don't anyway. see. Well, my intro, my intro was, hey bitches. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't think, I think it's if it's a lot. Oh. No. I think you're allowed to say like, that's life. Yeah. Whatever. Did I say hey bitches when I, when I just, No. If you are new, hey bitches! Hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, hey bitches, there we go. Today we're gonna be doing a smoke and a. We're pretty much just gonna be smoking and answering random questions that we have here. Yeah. So, oh, and we're um, we're one shotted just so you guys know. Yeah, should I get some more? We're Wait. a little loose. <laughs> I just gotta put that shit in the cup. We can sip on that. Well. Yeah? Okay. Margaritas will be back. Insert TV. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. We're back, bitch. Oh, yeah, we're back. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hope y'all got something to drink. It's margarita Italian ice. Ooh, that's good. I don't taste Italian. <laughs> well, she, she's going to roll up. She's teach, she taught me this new thing. It's called a... Um, Mooking. Which I learned from a YouTube documentary about homeless kids. <laughs> so, no. Well, um... No, no. It wasn't homeless kids. It was kids and weed in school. Like, it was a documentary about the... But I did watch one about homeless people and drugs. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm gonna ask the first question while we wait for the smoke. So it says, oh, where you go? Oh, here it is. What movie can you watch over and over again without ever getting tired of? There's a couple. Only one. Well, then I can't answer that question. Yes, you can. There has to be an all time favorite over. No, all it's a top. Okay, fine. Don't think I'm gay. I'm not gonna think you're gay. <laughs> well, there's three. Um, Practical Magic. I don't ever see it. I don't think I see it. Gotta watch it. Sandra Bullock and Will Kidman. They're witches. Um, Castaway. Wilson! Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I'm sorry, Wilson! <laughs> and um, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, I see that too. Yeah. yeah. Like he fucked them over at the end. He got out that bitch. People doing shice. Yeah. What about you? That's easy. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I could too. Yeah. And like I would, watching these, I would feel the same way as if I watched it for the first time. Cause I still cry. I'm emotional for no reason. Yeah, it's cause it's you can relate to those things. Literally. My turn. Yeah. All right. What's the most epic way you've seen someone quit or be fired? My sister. She <laughs> got um, fired from Little Caesars in high school, and she flipped the fuck out. She threw all the pizza, Brittany, she threw all the pizzas. She's like, forget this place, because she don't cuss. So she was like, you guys are losers. <laughs> and just like, sauce the pizza <laughs> and it was like, our uncle's outside, you gotta come. And she's like, no. Forget this place! And she's just tossing and they're ready to call the cops. Sounds, sounds accurate. Yeah. This girl, she got on the... Because this is the most basic, but it's my the, my favorite one that I've seen. This girl was at Walmart and she got on the phone. And she was like exposing the fuck out of Walmart. Like, all they business was on blast. I'm going to try and find the clip. And all they business on blast. And I was like, that's when you need to go out there. It's that way. Which, I think I see that. You don't see me too, I don't even know. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say wild. the Rachel one. Oh my That's god! <laughs> this is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, 
feeling fat, bitch. Why you took me off the motherfucking schedule with your trifling, dirty, white, racist ass, big fat bitch? She did her shit, y'all. Like, big fat Yes. They Whoa. just took her off the schedule, so she called and left along. Might like, so, insert that one, too. That's how I felt when Sticky Shake took me off the schedule for no fucking reason. <laughs> you yeah, I feel like if I left um, my current job, I would totally do that. I'd be like, just so you know, we hate your kids. They're bad. Make them sit there with it. I take their picture and let them go do whatever the fuck they want as soon as the camera's not on. Like, <laughs> bad teachers. No, They're no, just... they love me. My teacher, like, my kids would die if they didn't see me there. The kids are wild sometimes. They are. If you are in the child care or even just anything with children, you know they wild. That's good. Yeah. My kids wild. But we're not going to get into that. That's not what we're here for. Yeah. Those are different stories. Unless that, that question time. comes up. Facts. So. They say, what old person things do you do? Go to bed at 9 o'clock. Read on the front porch. Um... Turn the porch light on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to sleep without a light on. And you know some old people need the light on to go to sleep. So I need sound. Like I let or my like, fan run all night. Like a white noise or something. Oh, yeah. The way I drive. Bro. I drive like an old lady. I'm like. Not me. I'm just beating. The seat. The way I put the seat all the way up. But it's also because I can't see. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. Most definitely. Um. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? African food. I can't remember. I know it was a certain one, but I can't remember the name of it. But I know it was African food. This uh, when I was in private school, this girl cooked, and that it was so good. But my tongue private was on fire. School, like fuck you, bitch. <laughs> With our fucking poor ass district one thirty one section. Okay, bitch. It's only one year. One year. Doesn't matter. matter. That one year of education beats all four years I went to East High. <laughs> yeah, maybe <we're> close in Aurora. <laughs> they know. If you're from Aurora, you know I ain't wrong. Definitely. Like the fuck. I didn't even graduate from East. That's the sad part. <laughs> uh, mine's was nothing. I'm I have not eaten anything that I felt I could not handle. Like when I was a kid, I used to eat hot Cheetos and my booty hole would burn. <laughs> Bro. But that was as a kid. Okay, this is how you know I had white taste buds as a kid. <laughs> Look, my friend, my white girlfriend, she had hot fries. And I took one and I tasted that. I was like, damn, this shit too hot. It's too, too hot. So I kept tasting them, tasting them until I was like, damn, these bitches good as fuck. Like, I had white taste buds as a kid. Hot chips were not my forte. Can't relate. <laughs> On to the next question. I love hot shit. Get a good one. Bro, they should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? Hell yeah. You don't agree? Why why what are you gonna do with it? If you need another fucking kidney. What are you talking about? Okay, well if you're talking about that, I'm pretty sure they're not talking. If you're lying, bitch. I'm pretty sure they're talking about the, kid, the people who drug you and take your kidneys just to sell them. Oh, well, if you're about to, like, if you still in kidneys, no. <laughs> but I feel like, yes, legally. Like, legally. Like Squid Games. Exactly. That's not legal. Squid Games, they, you know, they hung those motherfuckers if you walk in the body parts oh, of the that, people. That might have been legal. Yeah. But, but it's like, why wouldn't you do that? All these yeah. people you're killing. You're not gonna keep the body parts for some people? Like, you know how many hearts that was? They had some stripping. Squid Games, I would not. I, bro, me and Leah was talking about this. We was like, we would not make it past red light, green light. No! That shit is like, I was like, I was like, if I look at Leah one time, it's over with, I'm gonna die laughing. And I shouldn't even be laughing because people are dying. But if I look at this bitch, it's open. It's with. not like, I don't think we're laughing because it's, we think it's funny. It's like, what else are we going to do? If For real. If we don't laugh, cry. we're going to cry. I'm like, and I'm not trying to be a bitch right now. I want that million. It was billions. It was billions. Billions. I need that. Well, what's the most unsettling film you've seen? Oh, my God. It's um not an American film. And I was told to watch it. I can't think of the exact name. Someone was in love with the dad. Okay. 
that shit was that's not unsettling. It was it was when I watched it. So it's just so fucking true. The film I watched that's actually unsettling. Like when I say unsettling, I had to go watch like a whole season you know of, of SpongeBob after this. So it's called this, and if you got the balls to watch it, good. This is what it's called. It's called a Siberian film. Siberian movie. That's what I thought that's what you were saying. Like, oh, this is a Siberian movie. No, it's called a Siberian film. Mm -hmm. That's that's the name, a Siberian film, and um, it's really fucking disturbing. I don't even want to get into it. Point is, the guy in the movie rapes a baby, and they show. Yeah. You're gonna nice. need to watch a lot of Barney episodes after. I stand corrected. Uh, the human centipede threw me off. Oh yeah, that one's a mess. This is like. A human centipede, but even worse. That's gross. He was like drugged on some shit, and he was raping everything in sight. Oh hell no! They literally say it's one of the worst films ever made. There's no way. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I'm just gonna turn off the phone. Sorry, I forget. Wiki wiki. What artist or band do you always recommend when someone asks for music? Kendrick Lamar. Janaeco. Love her. She toxic as fuck. And Tanashi. I've never seen her. I feel like I have one song by her. Tanashi? Yeah. This makes me download other music and shit. But then sometimes other artists will be like certain songs. What's the song? Alright, yeah. No, where you from, my nigga? Brace yourself, I'll take you on a trip down memory lane. Look at his brain blown out. We're pirates, some projects, I'm cracking a pot, I'm a prospect, I'm a pirate, I'm a dog, I'm a dope. Damn it! Commercial break is over. Back to the festivities. Festivities. What's the last song you sang along to? Why did I pick that? Pyrex, <laughs> just now. That's the last song I seen on too. But for real, for real, it was um, last night I was rapping to a Kendrick Lamar song and it was R.I.P. I sang uh, Zane's Pillow Talk in the car. The I can't way. take your bitch if I don't see your bitch. Well, That average ass watch can't fuck with my wrist. Your average ass hope can't fuck with my bitch. Period. My turn. Which of your vices or bad habits would be the hardest to give up? Smoking. Probably. Yeah. Most likely smoking. I tried already and I failed. I could do it if needed, but I don't need it. So it's yeah, more And people piss me off every day. So yeah. I hate that. Yeah, agreed, 102%. Like, people just be coming in fucking with you for no reason. Like, my boss today decided not to show up to work. The fuck are you on? Anyway. Anyway. I want to juice. What's your most recent lie? I don't know. Have I been lying anywhere? I don't think I've been lying. My most recent lie is... Kayla and her mom got in a fight. <laughs> yeah, I haven't told anybody the recent lies. I've been a good girl. Yeah. Real, real decent. Not to nobody. Bro. Not to nobody. There's no reason for me to lie. Not even about anybody? Uh -huh. Good girl. Why are you chewing on your fucking feet? <laughs> you should get on video. <laughs> Who has zero filter between their brain and their mouth? Me. Both of us. And you know, people have told me, they're like, Brie, it's just the shit you say. Like, why? Why you say it? Well, it's like, bitch, what's wrong with it? Like, I'm just confused. Doing what you was doing, I wouldn't say what I said. But you know, honestly, this is why I hate. Because we grew up in a, like, not a rough town, but like a hooded one. You know, people just didn't give a fuck. 
So I get mad when people that's not from that area actually try to act like ignorant or try exactly. to talk a certain way. Because it's like, I'm trying to not be that way. Yeah, like, I don't know how hard it is to like not be ghetto with people. Like, Ugh. like or be loud. Literally. Like, people from the hood are just naturally loud. So it's like, oh my god. Like, it should be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, so stop doing that shit. If you ain't from this life, I don't know. Sit down. What's the last lie you told somebody you love? That I. If this were truth or drink, I'd be taking it. And you did. Because what's the point? Uh huh. <laughs> What animal would be the most terrifying if they could talk? That fucking chimpanzee. Why? First of all, that nigga already ready to box. And they human practically. They're like... Yeah, you right. You know? <sighs> but I went to the zoo a couple weeks ago. And I saw a bear there going ham on a tire swing. So I'm pretty sure he had a lot to say to us. Definitely. Yeah. So a bear or a... I was going to say like a big cat. Because they could be like, yo, nigga, I'm hungry enough. Like, like a tiger or something. Yeah, but I love those animals. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, no, I have a question for all y'all that I've been asking for the last few days. You know how fruit is divided into sections like berries, melon, such and such? Pineapple. What section are they putting? Pineapple? That's a type of fruit. Yeah, but what kind of fruit? Like a uh, pineapple. Bitch. It's not a melon. It's a pineapple. Yeah, but what is it? A tree fruit. Okay. That's a type There's of fruit. A lot of tree fruit. Tree fruit. That's the category. The type of tree fruit it is is a pineapple. I'm a teacher. I know shit. What's the worst thing you eat out of politeness? A whole bunch of shit. I don't know. I don't think I've actually ever eaten anything. I can't even I say it. Because she might watch this video. Spicy. What's the, mis what's the most historic thing that happened in your lifetime, bitch? Most historic? Historic. Like the greatest thing ever? That you've been a part of. Black Lives Matter, and I say that probably like because, me personally. Yeah, because I was I was a big activist for Black Lives Matter. Back Black Lives Matter, bitch. Learn how to talk. If you scroll down on my page, I have a Black Lives Matter video. If you go on my Instagram, I have shit up there. I was I was big. I was speaking my mind every day. I did not give a fuck. Cause that shit's out as fuck. Bishi bashi. Whatever that means. That means live it. Oh. I don't know how she knew that. <laughs> uh, wait, bitch, you just not gonna let me answer? I'm sorry, I got carried away. I'm, I'm so used to doing videos by myself. I know. Um, that I've personally been a part of, like witnessed or actually like, I felt- Well, the question was just like, there's something in your lifetime historical that you've witnessed being a part of, I guess. Everything in COVID is weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be going out buying masks <laughs> or like have a collection of them bitches on my like dresser. It don't make no sense. And they're trying to get everybody to get vaccinated, bitch. You're not. Yeah, they're trying to shit. pay you and shit. Talking about oh, if you get vaccinated, we'll put you in a lottery. And a bitch in Schaumburg just won like three mil. I feel like that's a lie. It might be. I don't know. Go to my ticket bag shit. I don't know. Um, everything that's happened since 2020. Hell yeah. Where are you not welcome anymore? Couple places. I'm not gonna lie, when I was 15, I actually got put out of the state of Illinois. I had to go move to Florida. 
with my uncle because I prank called the police and they had a three-day manhunt looking for a kidnapped little girl and uh, they kicked me out of the state. <laughs> they was like, you've caused too much trouble, minding that I have gotten in trouble as a juvenile before this. So they was like, yeah, bitch, this is your last straw. You're out of here. And uh, yeah, so I'm here now though. So I'm assuming they welcomed me back. They gave me a, a driver's license. But as of now, I don't know a place that doesn't want me. Uh, I'm not welcome back at my uh, old living situation. Ah, yes. Yeah, same. That's weird. <laughs> I didn't think of that, but fuck that, I wouldn't want to go back. Truth be told. I would not want to go back. What? That's not okay. I didn't say it was. I, that's the first thing that came to mind. Um, no. <laughs> that's when I did that Miss Puerto Rican pageant and I had to do the parade, my ass was fat back then because you know a bitch was thicker. Like hands was just on my ass. It was so weird. And it's like I can't punch you because I'm a role model. So what do I do about this? Did you tell anyone? No. Yeah. yeah. I told you. I don't know what would have happened. Oh, no. Nah. I was like, please don't put your hands there. I know. What's the most annoying noise? King Louis barking. I was just going to say barking, period. Yeah, but but for me, his is like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, he sounds like a rooster. Yeah, he does. And it's for anything. Literally anything. Anything. I pulled into the driveway and my grandma seen him in the window. He's going crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the saddest scene in a movie or TV series? Wilson. When, um... <laughs> in My Girl, when, uh... Oh, his name? yeah, that was when sad. When he dies and she comes in there crying, bitch, I'm bawling. Like, yeah, that's sad. It's not as sad as Wilson, but it's sad. Like, Wilson was his only friend. On this motherfucker just decides to fall off the boat. Like, you were so close. And he couldn't let the boat go because he would have been stranded. But, like, Wilson was a volleyball, so it's like you're not going to risk that boat over that volleyball. But at the same time, it's your best friend. I have, like, um, what do you call that? Separation issues. So it, I get like really connected to people and shit. If I was on an island with a volleyball for four years, that volleyball would have been like the same thing. So that was really definitely. Sad. Oh, and Shawshank Redemption makes me cry at the end. Shawshank Redemption makes me cry at the end when they get together. But it's a happy cry because yeah. it's like, nigga, you broke out of jail and you fucked them over on parole. Yes. <laughs> don't um, don't try that. Breaking out of jail and a bunch of other shit. <laughs> which, <laughs> which apocalyptic dis? I don't know that word. Which apocalyptic dystopia do you think is most likely? Hunger Games, probably, or um, Walking Dead? Because I really yeah, feel like zombies. I was are gonna say thing. zombies for sure. Bro, they're transport twenty four seven. That's not a zombie. That's not the bitch. It could be anything, but I might as well say I don't want to think about that. They could break out at any time they wanted to. Like, let's be serious. I think it's zombies. At least we have a chance to survive. How? If a fucking zombie come out, I'm dead. No, bitch. We don't Unless it's like Walking Dead. That's what I'm saying. If it's World War Z zombies, I'm dead. I'm dead. Because them motherfuckers were fast. That's fucked. Or like, even dead. Train, they to could, like train to Busan. Bro, they could climb open doors and shit, like... Yeah! And Black Summer, they could open doors. Like, what the That's fuck is that? That's just not for me. That's just not for me. I need, like, zombie land zombies that are kind of happy. Yes. Or, like, Walking Dead, yeah. Because I can just easily, like, clap. They walking. They're dead. I think Hunger Games, though. It's the government yeah. trying to, like, take over and they make these poor sections and these yep. rich sections. I, bro, that's... Anything can happen. And of course, I would be in the poorest districts, fucking out here hunting turtles and shit. Okay. It's depressing. So, so it's 
have God's house. What's your secret talent? People tell me I can sing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I hear myself in my own ears. I'm secretly like, yeah. Jessa and Jocelyn watch these videos. Okay, um, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, okay, fine, stripper. Okay. Like, if I really wanted to, I could totally get out there on a pole. Because I was at the park the other day, and they had a big pole, and I was showing the kids. Like, we was working that long, bugger. I'm multi-talented. I can, I do a little bit of everything. I so. can write, even though I'm lazy. I took today. I was like, shit, go for it. Wish I would have taken a nap. I got up at 6 in the morning and guess what I did? I smoked a blunt. Are you going to get up at 6 a.m.? Isn't that what time you get up? No, she said I'm going to have to come in. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to get up and smoke a So, I need some juice to your question. Yeah. We got more. What's the most embarrassing story from your childhood? I ears is probably I don't have any. I don't have any. I was just embarrassed my whole childhood. Shit. My grandma beat my ass fresh out the bathtub with the bathroom door open. Why? Because I went to a party after school and didn't come home. And there was one time where I, I cussed her out about some socks and Dr. Jim. You should go with that. I was mad. Wait, I gotta fix it. What was your first, Kayla, when you got high for the first time? Actually getting high or smoking weed? And getting high. My first time actually getting high was in freshman year. At school? Yeah, at high school. I skipped seventh period. And I went walking with this girl and we smoked and some dude, he was, he was like laughing at us as we walked past because we were supposed to be in school. And yeah. Cool. So, and my dumb ass, I choke on the smoke that I'm blowing out. I choke on it and I'm dying laughing. Who were you with? This girl named Tati. Was it that one girl that um, had sex with those boys in the woods? No, no, that's a different girl. Oh. Uh, we came back to school and I was, I knew I was hot. I was fried. My mouth was so dry. I couldn't talk. I kept asking for water, but I couldn't talk. So I said, I bet you I sounded dumb as fuck. Yeah. It was, it was all bad. We could do like, I get you. What can you do? They have to be really, really good. Let me see. Break. I'm trying to be a cookie. Yeah, I am. It's just gonna take five minutes. <laughs> Off rip. Out of all the people in this room, who do you consider the sluttiest? Acting? Me. <laughs> active? <laughs> you. Active? Bitch, I've only been active with one person. Okay, you're right. I do begin now. That's not your business, though. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really. I act slutty, but I would no, never I've like. No, I've done some things. So. Yeah, and I'll just tease your ass and make you think I'm gonna do some things. But I. But every time I've done some. Every time. It's been with the same person, bro. Not with people. Yeah, I've been like dirty. If we talk about just one person, just because I'm older, I think I'm probably just. 
I don't know shit though because like it doesn't matter really about no, age. I don't think it matters. No, but I've only been with one I know bitches that are like 16. Yeah, no, I And they be riding dick like a cowboy. That was just the first question I saw. Of the... Uh, what do you like least about your own appearance? Shit. This hair could be a little less frizzy. Uh, truth be told, this booty can be a little more fat. Sometimes when I sit down, like certain clothes that I'm wearing, I still only pop out. And you know, like a bitch is a chunky bitch, but whatever, right? I would say thick, because I'm trying to get like closer to her weight. Because I mean, look at me, I look like be my starving children. That's the only thing though, like when it pops out, when people be like, and I would feel like I look fat, but I don't know. Because I'm, I'm too skinny, but I have guts. Muscle at one point, so yeah. Now she's trying to get chunky. I'm trying to get like chunky. that. Um, I like I like chunky. Like <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what? What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract a crush? I went on my friend's profile and sent him a message. Pretend that I was her. He was into her. They were talking back and forth, flirting, and then I had her boyfriend post a video of them making out, and then I sent the video from her profile, and I was like pretending to be the boyfriend, and I was like, "Ha ha, she don't like you," and yeah, I broke his heart pretty much, yeah, and he had to come to me. But after that, I don't want to ask him more. So. That was, was just question? bogus. <laughs> right. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract the act? X. I pretended like my friend was into him so that she would break his heart so that he would be, want me. But I was like, wait, why would I want a right. motherfucker that doesn't even want me unless, like, you're like, I was like, no, fuck that, never mind. So we ended up breaking his heart twice. I think. Shout out to you, because you know who you are, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever had to, like, do more than a few conversations here and there. Yeah, I had never not been, he said he liked me, but I had never been not desired. Like, I never had anybody yeah. not chase me before, so that was weird to me. So that's why I did that. But then when he finally did chase me, I was like, oh, I don't want you. Yeah, I'm just secondhand to you any fucking way. People always want me. And he still hits me up on my inbox till this day, and I'm just like, um, I wasn't your first choice, so I'm not an option. So, Sorry. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, she between me and a little bitch, she got a little bitch. But she didn't want to say this What's the most surprising thing that's ever turned you on? I don't even want to say. It was like some gay shit. I was like, wait, what? And the worst part is it was two dudes. I ain't never watched that. It was on a show. It was on oh. a Netflix series. And this gay dude was like getting head from this other gay dude. But I think I was just like ovulating or something because I was like what the fuck my uh what was the question damn that's the most surprising thing um I was reading this story and this dude he was holding my gun to the girls like in her mouth and yeah so yeah Kayla like that used to that rough shit but only only like just so you know, in six weeks, I'm gonna shoot you. How you know? It's really crazy, though. <laughs> I'm saying, like, yeah. Like, you're not gonna know if they're really Freaking crazy. Sheets, lady in the streets. Yeah, if that don't go for the nigga, like. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, like, like. Fuck that. I don't wanna be a lady on the streets. I wanna be a fucking gangster ass thug bitch, so if you think you fuck with me, I'll put on my clock. She's violent. It's okay though. I'm not violent. I gotta protect myself because I'm little. That makes sense. It's a rough world out here for It definitely girls, is. You know? It definitely is. You know what? That's a off topic laws on bodies, but whatever. We're not even gonna get into that because that could be a whole debate. I don't have time for that. So, with that being said, 
this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow her on Instagram. Is it? It's High Majesty with two eyes because the original profile got hacked. Yeah. And I don't know. She has Facebook. If y'all want to go listen. <laughs> Please don't look for me on Facebook because, man, I have not and gotten through that. I'll drop her Snapchat shit. Yeah, Snapchat, you can add me on. So, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, drop a comment, turn on your post notifications, drop a like. You know, tell your people to come subscribe on the road to 200 subs, period. Yeah, we will see y'all in the next video. Which will be, don't worry about it, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. What's your outro? That was my outro. Peace, love, and happiness, bitch.